Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we'll look at the array of ladies, but we're going to talk about out of your league. The main issue in dating right now is that women constantly want to date up. It's called hypergamy. They think the average guy or a guy that's on their same level is they're better than that guy. And they constantly want guys that are better than them. Let's get into it. Dating in New Zealand has probably going to be the worst place to date in the whole world. And I've only been in the game for like two months and it's been rough. So I was talking to this guy and he was like physically ticking all the boxes. He was tall, dark, handsome, gym bro. Bro, like just chef's kiss. Until he opened his mouth, he was saying some of the most outlandish, like sexist comments I've ever heard in my life. He insulted me the whole entire day. I'll give examples of what he was saying, but he was labeling it as, oh, I'm just old school. Like, no, 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 buddy, you're not old school. You're just sexist. For example, he asked me on the date what I would rate myself at a 10, which like weird question to ask someone anyways, but I was like, I'm a 10, 100%. And he was like, mm, do you really think that you're a 10? And I was like, yeah. Wait, she said she was a 10? Stop the cap. <laughs> it, this is the main problem. It's funny, I didn't pick this uh, video. I don't watch them ahead of time, so I didn't know how much this would relate to today's episode. Ma'am, you're out with Chad. Now, I agree. Gentlemen, don't be on a date with a lady and ask what score she is. But it is interesting that she's saying she's a 10. Ma'am, you're not a 10. And that's why quote unquote, he's ticking all the boxes. You're going after the hottest dudes on the app. And of course they have tons of options as well. We continue. Yeah, I am a 10. He's like, I don't think anyone's a 10. And I was like, well, you're looking at one. And he was like, okay, but genuinely though, are you a 10? And I was like, oh my God. And then he proceeded to say, ah, oh, I don't like girls that are really up themselves. Like, oh, I hate girls that are really cocky. Sorry, you don't like girls that value themselves. What do you just want like insecure girl? And he said cocky. He didn't say insecure. When someone says they're a 10, that means there's no room for improvement. Ma'am, are you trying to say you have nowhere to improve about your physical appearance? You're just perfect the way you are. And this is that women now think that's being sexist. I, I don't buy that. Just It's just realistic. Most men would not, you asked the majority of men, there's no way we'd ever say we're 10s, but there's tons of ladies who do this. She continues. Anyways, he then started commenting on my tattoos and I have a tattoo of, it says God is a woman because period. And I've got- That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. And this is a quintessential modern woman, full of herself talking about, the guy said I don't like cocky women, she said that's being insecure. It's not what he said to you, ma'am. Taking, ready to be offended. She's totally ready to be offended. She continues. A tattoo with like, on my arm and he proceeded to say you're gonna have to get those removed if you want to be with me i said this is our first interaction with each other i'm respectfully i'm never talking to you again after this and so i've also lost over six, nearly 60 kg so that topic of conversation did come up i didn't wait wait that's a huge bitch and she's the 10. <laughs> okay <laughs> did you bring it up he did he then proceeded to ask me what my body looks like after losing 60 kgs didn't ask me about my journey didn't ask me how i am like nothing like that just purely what does your body look like now it's literally like i don't even know you there's none of your i don't even believe this story the way she's saying it that he was just it, and this is how women perceive stuff you ask direct questions i've never talked to a guy who would get to the point the, the way she's describing like that their whole interaction is him just going what does your body look like now? He's given the chef's kiss for the guy. You know who he was. All right, what article? Then we're going to the nonsense. It's from five years ago. The mediocre men you pay to meet in elite dating agencies. Glass of wine in hand, a man sitting opposite me in a restaurant and was full flow. While he was droning on about his work commitments, I zoned in and out, trying to work out how I was going to get through the first date. I'd expected to meet an eligible bachelor, but he had turned out to be so boring that he made me want to stick asparagus in my nostrils. <laughs> This memory came flooding back when I read about Teresa Berkey, a London financier who successfully sued an elite matchmaking agency for a return of her $18,000 fee. The case continues. A couple of years ago, I joined an expensive matchmaking agency. I had just come out of a seven year relationship and on the wrong side of 50. I soon tired of online dating, receiving messages from overweight baldies who peppered their emails with childish emojis. That makes me angry. Yep, there we go. Yeah, at 50 years old, I, where's my rich Chad, who's got a full head of hair, 
who's going to wifey me up and, you know, I'm in my 50s. See, ma'am, that's the issue. A guy in his 50s who does have a ton of stuff going for him is not going to date you and they don't get it. She continues, I hankered to find Mr. Right for me, a man who is suitably educated and successful professional. There it is. One million dollars. I imagine my handsome date, a cashmere polo neck, a bit academic and kind. We'd eat steak, tartare, and swap notes on our latest box set, find, and favorite novels. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. These ladies want to date a clone of themselves in a hot dude's body. The reality of an array of terrible matches, growing sense of alarm in a flaming row in a flash restaurant in Chelsea. The first indication that I was not all I expected came when I met my personal matchmaker for tea in an interview. We chatted about the holidays, men with bad haircuts and my ideal date. So are you a psychologist? I asked, eager to press her on the method of assessment. Oh no, I'm a people person. I love people. A few days later, she emailed me the details of W, a successful entrepreneur who had traveled extensively, also liked folk music. When I met him up in a pub in Richmond, I was shocked. I was expecting a cultured and dynamic man Instead, I got a man in a pair of jeans, moth-eaten jumper, and table manners of a modern-day Baldrick. Really? There you go. They they have this fantasy idea from all these stupid rom-coms and sitcoms and Sex in the City about what men are even like. See, ma'am, you don't even know what a dude is, a, a normal guy is. They're watching james bond movies and things like that i mentioned that yesterday on yesterday's episode and think that they're gonna all show up in tuxes and whisk them off to the tundra of the anarch as i make that joke all the time jay continues therein lies the rub these agencies trade on their exclusivity yet the men i met were far from super elite as they promised and the so-called experts were a group of xpr girls with swishy hair and ability to write up nifty press release the thing I found most unnerving though was not being able to see what my date looked like, let alone pre-date chat with them before we met. So important to get the feel of someone. It wasn't too much to surprise them and I rarely got it right. There was the 65 year old American with stunning portfolio property who broke the rules and Googled me, only to inform me that I was too old for him. The barrister who invited me to St. James Club and turned out to be prickly and aggressive. And a man who sold jumpers who took me to dinner in Fulham and told me that I should have worn a clinger dress. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, see ma'am? That's what you get and you're gonna be single in your 50s. She's not even average. These older ladies believe that their success as a person, that they've gone the man's path and are successful and have a house and, and a great career and their kids and all this stuff that they value and it's great, fine, matters for their sexual market value. It's not what men care about. It's not what successful men care about. They care about youth and beauty. I would argue to her, the men you were with are actually were still probably above your, your price range. The guy, 65 year old guy said, yeah, you're too old. And they just don't understand. It's a different calculus. Men will take women with no resources and wifey them up. Doctors will go date secretaries, their secretaries, and they'll go marry Lawyers will go marry cocktail waitresses and just as long as they're fit, feminine, friendly. The, 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 you notice I didn't talk about resources, but women can't date down financially and this is gonna cripple them in terms of finding suitable partners because that it's good for them. They're in the workforce, doing their thing, making money. I mean, I, it's, it's absolutely this. But this will not get you the husband of your dreams. If you're overweight, or you haven't kept yourself up in this lady, I and mean, she's not, not overweight, but she's not not very attractive. And I, I never I never slam on people for things that they can't control. You you are what you are, but maybe she could have makeup on. She could have a different type of outfit on. So yes, the men she wants don't want her back. That's why the danger zone exists. Into the danger zone. And this is, and look how she talked about men though. We're taking you know one more point about this. She almost said the word dusties, baldies. Yeah, man, most guys, a lot of guys have lost their hair in their 50s and 60s, but those are the men that you're gonna get. You're not gonna get some younger, rich Chad dude to take the deal. Let's get to the nonsense. So in Dating Delusions, we always start with the great profile. This is the great profile today. And she's 24. And I would say this is one of the better profiles I've seen. It, as someone commented yesterday, just the less is more, ladies, less is more. And I get it, that lady, believes her success is going to lead to finding the man of her dreams. It's just 
sure, there are some men who care about that, but most don't. This lady's profile in her SMV peak can pick from the men she wants, and she has such a lovely profile and great pictures. It's so simple if you do it this way. She's 24 and says, about me. If you've heard the way my fifth grade students complimented me, you'd understand why I'm hard to impress. Man, that's a joke. <laughs> Ladies, she didn't say she's witty. She actually made a joke. It's sweet. And look at this picture. Now, she has her tongue stuck out, but it's not in this gross way that these ladies do. It's like a, a kind of a, a sweet, kind of sultry way. She continues. Here she's at the gym. This actually makes sense. Ma'am, you're an absolute smoke show. She's fit and attractive. She continues. Look at this great picture. Smiling. She looks sweet. Ladies, what a fantastic... This is one of the best pictures I've seen on here. I Good. <laughs> Just so sweet. Look at this pose. I, I'm sweet. I would like to meet a man. This is how this comes across. She continues. She's a beautiful lady. My, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> got a booty she's attractive she's fit and her final picture she's out traveling somewhere she didn't say she likes to travel she has a picture of herself out ma'am what a fantastic profile you get a round of applause <laughs> it's so simple ladies if you're not the person you want to be get fit be sweet deal with your past trauma and drama act approachable and men will show up and want to give you actual relationships. But of course, that is not what they do. Let's get it, nonsense. So this lady's 36, has her dumb pronouns, says about me, honesty, communication, and trust, a key. This lady has terrible grammar. The, I'm hoping to find my Southern, I'm friendly, a Southern bell. <laughs> I'm a genius. Great. I'm very old fashioned. I have high morals and Values. Nope. I don't believe you, ma'am. I don't know what's going on with this profile. Genius. I need a man like my tea, strong and sweet. I demand respect. I love, appreciate spoiled, pampered, unspoiled, and affirmations. Ma'am, that's for you. Man, why do we have to spoil you? You gotta grow up. We're not gonna spoil. That's just stupid to even talk about this, that to be spoiled. You're 36 years old, ma'am. You're past this. That last lady, the first the first profile of the day, beautiful, sweet, kind. Now, and she didn't ask to be spoiled, but there will be men who maybe would want to spoil her, not to say that that's a great idea, but demanding it. And she says it, I demand. You are in the position to demand absolutely nothing. Then she says, P.S. I do lab. <laughs> Damn, you are this. The bitch is crazy. I don't know what you're talking about up here. High morals and values. You can't even prove for your own damn profile. She continues. Dude's biggest lady I've ever seen. Ah, that's a huge bitch. After work, you can find me asleep. Third shift security. Ma'am, you probably need to sleep less and get to the gym more. Hmm. She is talking about what she demands in her mid thirties, looking like this. The only kind of men who would ever even swipe on you are going to be men who would see you as any sort of prior wanting to hook up with you. They're never going to want to deal with you. And those men are not going to be men who sweep you off your feet. I can promise you that they're not going to see you that way. No one would. Your bad attitude, grossly overweight, demanding things from men. It's meant to be if you, I don't have a Bumble premium, so hit me up and she calls herself bougie. <laughs> wow, crazy. You're crazy girl. Yeah, bougie. Tell me how you're so bougie, ma'am. You're full of yourself and you're, this is the main issue. Once again, we've said it so many times, these ladies, are not being told to improve. You saw that first TikTok. She's like, I'm a 10. No, you're not. You're not all 10s in goddesses and queens. You don't all deserve high value, successful men. She's just a third shift security guard. So ma'am, that's the kind of man you're gonna get. And the if you want a relationship, the man has to think he's getting a good deal. So that guy's gonna probably, he might even have a job, ma'am. And that'd be still a good deal for you if he would wifey you up. We continue. So she's 42 and she says, about me, looking for a new husband. Damn, what's wrong with the husband you have now? Continues, I have kids and dogs you gotta love. 
Both. <laughs> Almost seems troll based on some of the profiles we've seen. She's going to say all the things we've talked about. It's in one profile, Jim. You won't even believe how, how this goes. Continues. I like to cook, be spontaneous, and explore the outdoors. I want a best friend, partner, lover, supporter, and gentleman. A double cheeseburger, onion rings, large strawberry shake, and for God's sakes, hurry. You already have one, ma'am. You have a husband. <laughs> I think she's just boldly saying, I would need a new one. I got to trade that guy in and want someone better. Ma'am, ladies, if you're in your 40s and 50s, you're not going to have a find a better man than your ex. If you've got kids and baggage and dogs, the next guy's not going to be any better. You're goddamn right. She continues. Someone willing to go that extra mile, make me a priority, pursue me, and make me feel special. I want it all. I want it now. Don't tell me no. Just tell me how. Damn, you're into here. Into the danger zone. It's just never going to happen. You are never going to find a guy who's going to do all these things for unless you, you, make it a great deal for him. And that's all she does is ask for things. I mean, I, but she, if you think she's anywhere near that, she's not. She then says non-negotiable someone who smokes, does drugs, drinks excessively, or looking to add a third person to their relationship, I'm not interested. There is no only soul. Man, we're not here to deal with it. And you're outing yourself. That's the kind of guys you clearly get. Guys who smoke a lot or do drugs or drink a whole lot, and they're just trying to make you their second or third. That's all you're getting. So that's what, and you're dumping it, you're telling us that by putting it in your profile. Continues. What makes a relationship great is honesty, communication, effort, a loyalty and trust, shared moral values, spending time together, cuddling, watching TV or a movie, or going on staying in. Hamburger, no cheeseburger. I want a hot dog, I want a milkshake, I want potatoes. You'll chip. get nothing in like. I don't know what the hell planet you came here from that you think in your 40s with kids and dogs and all this crap and your bad attitude and demanding nature, you're gonna find some man to wifey you and even putting it, I need a new husband. You're not gonna find someone better. It's never gonna happen. And of course, we haven't done one in a while. We have a comma count on her. Let's, you can take a guess in the commas. And uh, if you guessed, you're a winner. 22, you're a winner. <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. Most women tend to want the lifestyle and the things that come along with high value. And when someone tells you just to be socially acceptable, you need to accept a woman that you're not necessarily as attracted to for this or that, men are getting shamed for being able to exercise the same options that women demand they have. You can go and look throughout Hollywood where women of one stature are trying to get men who are obviously on a different level than them, but the man's response is criticized or scrutinized far more than this person's audacity to think just because I make this, we're on the same level. That's not how we are. Never has been. That is correct. There you go. Of course, the Godfather, as usual, speak in facts. Ladies, your, <clears throat> your success and the things that you're putting out there, that's what you want in a man. You want a successful, put together stylish man and the guys who are fit stylish rich tall and all those things have tons of options right now because you're only swiping on those kind of guys so you're gonna have to compete for those guys and think you can just get on here and be demanding average ladies have to change your standards and understand that dudes aren't like you just like that that first lady in the, in the article talking about the guy not being basically sophisticated enough. average men are different are average for different reasons than women. An average lady might be, what, 200 pounds right now, and maybe she has decent style for being like that. So the, the guy might have a lot of money, but might not have great style. Tough. That's what you get. You're all not gonna get damn Christian Grey or James Bond or some famous person. We continue. Today's comment. Today's comment is from Ladybug. She found the channel, I think, yesterday, and says, these women have complicated, unrealistic expectations. So much drama. Now I'm assuming since the name is Ladybug, this is a lady and, and we have more ladies watching the channel now. So they're, they're seeing it. They're seeing how delusional and insane these requirements are. That's why I say we have allies out there, gentlemen. We can't just 
say all these women are modern. They're going to all act like this. So I appreciate the comment, Ladybug. If we continue. So this lady's 35, and you see her down there. That's a huge bitch. Says, my simple pleasure is laying out on the beach somewhere in warm weather. Oh, good for you. Yeah, ma'am, it sure sounds like this. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. Now, I think this lady is overweight. Um, put it in the comments, though, gentlemen. If I'm being too harsh on these ladies, I, I would like to hear your opinion. I've had comments going, you know, uh, you only accept ladies who are very, very skinny. Let's continue. I mean, <laughs> it's up to you guys, but instead of grabbing drinks, let's go to a Drake's concert, go to Pandora and get charmed to remember our first date or all the above. Ma'am, ma'am, that's for you. 84,355, a difference of 880. You bought both showcases and a million bucks. A million bucks, buddy. She continues. I recently discovered that studies show that men who buy roses on the first date are more more intellectually profound. No, ma'am, they're this. I just can't believe the stuff I read in these profiles, the demands these ladies put on men early in a relationship, or early, sorry, not in a relationship, early in just a dating situation. Ma'am, I would never buy someone flowers until far into a relationship. Gentlemen, I would tell you never do this. They will not appreciate this. And she just, she wants someone to romance her, to see her the way she sees herself. You can see the ego up here that I'm all that. No, you're not, ma'am. You're just average. And they think that they're better than men who look like them. She continues. She then says that random fact I love is the average woman makes 301 trips to the store annually spending close to 400 hours a year shopping. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Ma'am, I found this for you. Narcissists are obsessed with money. They think about how much money they have, how to get more of it, and how to keep it away from others. They use money to manipulate to get more, including how to take family members' money and inheritance. Money is their substitute for love, warmth, and affection. Narcissists make their own rules and play their own games when it comes to money. They have enough money, but they desire more of it and become addicted to the game of spending it. Narcissists like what money provides, security, power, self-esteem, freedom, and admiration from others. The narcissist spending habits can feel confusing. They take dangerous risks while depleting their family and say they have no money. If you try to- There we go. I would argue that the all these ladies calling men narcissists, no ma'am. You're, if, uh, you, ladies, you're so focused on the bag and focused on men's money and what someone can do for you. That's true narcissism. Hmm. Men love idealistically. They love a woman not because of what she can provide for him, but just for who she is. That she's a beautiful and sweet and kind and things like that. And I would need even the cooking thing. Yeah, a lot of guys don't even care if a woman can cook or not. Just be sweet, kind, fit, feminine, friendly, and leave it at that. And the guy will fall in love with you. But no, you ladies, it's a, it's a complex web of status and what can he do for me? Well, ma'am, I found the perfect man for you. Yes, I'm a simp. This is exactly how you're gonna get your celebrity crush, some sort of person with a following. It doesn't matter. This is how you're gonna get them, okay? First of all, you need to be Delulu. If you're gonna start saying, oh, I can't, it's not possible, but what? leave. Click off this video, this is not for you. But you need to be a little realistic, okay? You have to have that Delulu rational balance, okay? For example, if you're a 14 year old, no, you're not gonna be dating Harry Styles. But if you're 23, you know, even though he has a track. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> This is a real TikTok. I, I want, gentlemen, I want you to, and the ladies who, who are, are loyal and true friends, who, are, who ladies who watch, to take this in. This lady's making a video saying, you're some average chick, and you're gonna go get some famous star person, some famous person, some rich famous person, attractive chads. And she even says, you need to be a little Delulu. This is exactly what I'm saying. They're watching social media going, I can go attain men that are completely unattainable. And then they blame men for being 
narcissist and, and unreasonable. No, you're all out of your damn minds. Quicker for dating older women, you never know. You never know. Let's get into the thick of it. First of all, you need to look at which platform is the most plausible, like out of their social media platforms, because not all social media platforms are created equal. For example, sometimes TikTok is one of the more casual platforms where you'll see them commenting on other people's platforms, stitching, duetting, interacting with people. But on Instagram, they barely be liking their friends comments they don't even be looking at their grandma's comments so you need to pick a platform choose one you don't have to focus on all of them choose one you can try all of them if you want but focus on one now you need to network okay now you may be thinking no this is you shouldn't use people it doesn't matter okay are you here to get your celebrity crush or are you here to it doesn't matter oh hell no yeah go use people to go get the famous guy you want this has a ton of views on TikTok. And I, I want you to understand these ladies believing this, believing this delusion goes into, they get to their 30s and 40s. And then that lady you saw the article I showed, 55 year old lady going, where's my rich Chad to wifey me now that I'm in my 50s? They don't care what men want. It doesn't even occur to them that that's not what the man wants. I'll take a step back. And I, I'll change some facts here, but I know a guy in his on seventies who's dating a someone in their, I think she's either late twenties, early thirties. Now she was a single mom, but he's taking, and he's got money. You know, he's not a hot dude, but he's got plenty of money. And she gladly is with him because of the, the resources and the status she gets because of it. So these, this, that's what happens. Men want youth and beauty ladies and you star worshiping think you're going to get some sort of chat and going and i'd rather stay in my delusion you're gonna all be alone if you don't change this line of thinking just like yesterday's episode the lady who got taken to golden corral that's what she gets she's 60 years old and she met a 60 year old guy who likes to go to at Golden Corral. This lady continues. Be a good person. That's what I thought. So you need to go and see who do they know. I mean, yeah, you could go through their little follower list, but you need someone that they actually kind of have some memory of. For example, what if they just follow some random person from high school still and they don't even know who they are? No, you need to go through the comments and you need to go through their following and you need to see who did they, whose comments did they like, you know, 25 weeks ago. Remember that men are manipulative though. Remember that we're very manipulative. She continues. Who in the following, you know, do they still interact with? Maybe they leave a little comment, leave a little heart. You need to find these people. You need to find several of these people. But the thing is, these can't be other celebrities. These need to be average show people. They need to have like a few hundred followers. A few thousand is even kind of pushing it. They need to notice when you follow them. But first, before we even do any of that, you need to make sure your profile is popping, okay? This is gonna be your little application, your little resume. And also your- You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. And this proves the other point I've made so many times. These ladies take bedroom fun and think that they're landing a dude. They go, if I can get him into bed, that I have landed him. Man, even if this happened, even if one of your crazy followers got one of these dudes into bed, he's not going to wifey them. So you, yeah, get the Harry Styles, he would maybe pump and dump one of you, but he's not gonna wifey any of you. I mean, it's absolutely, it's so much this. Red flag, stop. And so, Understand these ladies then do this and go, I can land a guy like that or I can get bedroom fun with him. And well, why would I be with some average dude? And she's even saying they're, they're just average. They are. So catfish, they, they, they fake, they're fake Instagram crap. That way the guy sees them. Oh, he's, she's beautiful. Yeah. He's never going to take you seriously. Ladies, you've just got to stop getting on social media. It, it's so toxic for these ladies. Uh, I can't listen to any more of this crap. Let's continue. So this lady is, uh, well, she didn't give her age. She paid to not do that, but I'm guessing her upper forties. You can see her up there. That's a red flag right there, Bev. That's a red flag right there, Bev. She got her dumb pronouns. She then says about me, training and development manager, human rights lover. So I know if DeSantis, Trump, pro-life, or taking away freedoms in the name of God, give you the tingles, or if you're below six foot tall. 
Fear of spiders, Jehovah's Witnesses, and closed-mindedness. So she's allowed to be closed-minded, but you can't. Ha! I'm a genius. Good to know, ma'am. This, <laughs> this, these ladies. I won't accept half the country, but by God, don't be closed-minded. Continues. Loves family and travel. <laughs> you Bet you love to travel, ma'am, in a man's time. Sure you do. Sure, liberal Chad showing up and sweeping you off your feet. I mean, look at this picture, too. This was the picture she's trying to attract a man with. Then news. Music. F friends. New places. Experiences. Of course, experiences. It sounds like that. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mm. Laughter. Aerial arts. Ma'am, who doesn't like to laugh? What a stupid thing to say. College sports and spontaneity. No children unless you count my dog. Extremely independent and can provide for my own. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, you know that. I hope you do. And who cares? Good for you. And ladies, it's not we don't want ladies who can't pay their own bills, but you're throwing out independent. If you're so independent, man, then be alone. You want independent, self-sufficient men, but also you wouldn't want a man who's just constantly telling you how independent he is, would you? Would you really want a guy who says, I never need you? I'm curious. I bet you'd like to be needed too. Men want to be needed the same way you ladies do. Continues. I know my worth, so keep up. I refuse to be held back. Or, here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Yeah, know your worth. How's that working out for you? Oh, she got this. I'm a PhD. How's that working out for you to be to knowing your worth? You just sound so full of yourself. No one wants to deal with it. And I would say, I've said this so many times as well, you, as we get older, we have to worry, have to have less requirements and worry less about politics and religion. Today for a guy to get average girl, he has to be above average. That's, the, that's just the fact. And it's women that are doing this, by the way. Women dictate the sexual marketplace. Women dictate who they open their legs for. Women dictate who has sexual access, 100% the average guy but for him to even have a chance at the average girl he has to stand out because most men like we said aren't, most men aren't red pilled most men aren't listening to this advice most men aren't doing any kind of self-improvement at all yeah and that's what i preach on the channel as well and he's he's speaking facts gentlemen we can only control uh, what we about ourselves we can't control these ladies but what we can do is get on our purpose be as fit as possible, make as much money as possible. These younger ladies, of course, the, the great profile today, she's in her SMV peak, she's gorgeous. Most men would wifey her in a second, just like a guy in his late 30s who's on it, fit and attractive, looks good in a suit, not even tall. I'm not talking like that's the dating app thing, but in person, there's tons of ladies who take the deal. We continue. Final profile and man, it's, you talk about delusional. It's going to be one of the most delusional profiles. We haven't had one of these in a while. Here we go. So she is 35 and she's chief strategy officer. She's made her money. She's got a bunch of this. One million. And she's equating that to her SMV. Now she is attractive, but she look where this goes. German American adrenaline junkie. Great coffee. Good food, ma'am. Everyone in the world likes good food. That's completely subjective to what someone thinks good food is or another. But it's, a, it's probably you mean expensive food. Hard sports. No, yes, no, yes. Oh, 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 your helmet is so big. <laughs> Man, what's hard sports? What are you talking about? Ex-military, thank you for your service. Ma'am, I appreciate that. Model, beauty queen. All women are queens. If she breathes. <laughs> trophy wife. Ma'am, if you're a trophy wife, where is your husband? Think about putting this. You don't, but she's not even married. She's obviously this too. The bitch is crazy. Continues. <laughs> Entrepreneur, student, aviator. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, <laughs> right, let me tell you. We don't care. Stylish, modern, complicated, loves single dads, adventurer. Come on, you old cunt. We're going on an adventure. How oh, about get fucked, man? Intelligent, affectionate, a little insane. Basically, I'm the female Elon Musk. This is what bipolar people experience. 
If you're bipolar, you especially know about this. It's this temporary state where you really are delusional. You're a winner! Female Elon Musk? Ma'am, you might that might be the craziest sentence we've ever had on the channel in 341 episodes. You're goddamn right. What are you how are you like Elon Musk, ma'am? You're a multi-billion you're a multi-hundred billionaire? You started multiple companies? I mean also, what does it matter for your sexual market value? Men care about fit, feminine, friendly. And this is what's gonna keep her saying she wants a multi-billionaire gentlemen to wifey her. She will think anyone who's not a multi-billionaire who is then hot for her because she's trophy wife, beauty queen, model is not good enough. Ma'am, how many men do you think are like are available like that? I'm curious. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. And if you think she's done, she's not. She continues. She then says, let's break dating stereotypes by getting vulnerable and answering uncomfortable questions about ourselves. Transparency is sexy at a time when everyone encouraged to be fake. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Ma'am, I don't even believe you. Getting vulnerable, you don't seem vulnerable. You just compared yourself to one of the richest, actually the richest person in the world. And you're saying get vulnerable with you. That sounds like an absolutely terrible idea. Mm. She continues. She then says so they get way too excited about Top Golf, American cinema, traveling. Stop! Stop! <laughs> New coffee spots, cooking, unexpected kindness, other expats, and queen. Startups and innovation, finance, my kink, excel. Mama, that's for you. $100 billion. This one's so insane. Even if you think all of this about yourself, that you're just the most amazing catch ever, you could just put, I think I'm a catch and leave it at that. And then you meet in person and go, I'm all these things. And here's, I mean, and I don't know this woman. I don't know you, ma'am. But I wasn't joking. I, th there, there's some sort of disorder here when you have this level of del delusion of grandeur that you are so amazing. Man, if you're so fucking amazing, why are you 35 and without a husband? Why has no one taken the deal? They didn't get rich to deal with a lady who's just high maintenance all the time. Ma'am, I'm gonna let the godfather send you her damn way. Buy a dog, cat, die alone. Because no man deserves to suffer you. Now I'll end it there for today. Thank you again for watching our episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters. Thank you so much for joining the channel. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers as I record this. I hope we get there by, you know, hopefully tonight or tomorrow. I really do appreciate you all. If you did like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe now. It's free to do and really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.